All right, Shalom. Akim. Want to give all praises to Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh Shai, Bashem, Rukha, Kodash. Double honors to the elders, of, the elders and apostles of Great Millstone. And salutations to our brothers out there on the highways and byways that's doing the work. Noise abroad. And I want to get into this. I want to get into this major sign right here. This is the second blue moon of this year you know we just had one just um this past january the beginning of january you know the kick off the, kick off the so-called year but um actually we all know that the that the new year begins you know in the springtime so this is gonna kick off you know a season of tor turmoil you know a season of great change you know what i mean so we're in that time right now where, you know, the most high is about to, you know, you know, just just prophecy is just about to come to pass, you know, that the most high is just putting a closure to the so-called white man's kingdom. And um, this is, like I said, this is the second one of the year. You know, this is the one that's just going to kick off the new year, you know, because we are, like I said, we already know that spring, you know, is the beginning of the year. So, according to the Bible, you know what I mean? So, this is just going to be a, a year of um, great changes, you know. We, there's there's a shift in us about to take place. And I want to bring out some precepts. I want to start off with the book of um, Genesis, the first chapter. And um, in the 17th verse, and it says... And it says, and and the Most High set them. No, no, Salakia. Genesis chapter one verse um fourteen. And it says, and the Most High said, let there be light in the firmaments of the heavens to divide the day from the night, and let them be for signs and for and for. And for seasons and for days and for years, you know, like this, like this blue moon that just took place, you know, Saturday, March 31st, 2018. So this is just going to be the beginning of the, you know, the beginning of great changes that's about to come, you know, and um. Like we see in the media, you know, we see, you know, Kim Jong Un meeting up with the um, Chinese president, you know, that that hasn't, you know, that's just a rare occurrence right there. Like, like, for example, like having two moons, having two blue moons in, in one year is just rare in itself. You know, that's something that just doesn't happen, you know. And um, just to have two of them, just to even have one blue moon, you know, just once in a blue moon, that's just something that just doesn't happen often, you know what I mean? But to have two of them within one year, you know, now you know something significant and great change is about to take place. Because, you know, like I said, there's not much time left, you know, we had Kim Jong-un meeting with the president, the president of um of China, so, you know. You know, there's some secret alliance going there. We already know what the scripture. Let me get the scripture real quick about, you know, these other nations deceiving Esau. So, you know, these other nations, they're getting together, man. And they're going to and they got one purpose in mind and one goal in mind. And it's to come up against America and to destroy America. You know what I mean? Kim Jong-un is just not going to go over there for nothing, you know. <laughs> And this and this guy Holly even stepped out or made any diplomatic, you know, what I'm saying, um, summits, you know, man, with any other nation, you know what I mean? And this is the first that we just seen Kim Jong Un just step out of his, you know, what I'm saying, his country to have a diplomatic meeting with China, you know what I mean? So that's just something's about to go down, you know. He ain't meeting the president of China for nothing, so. So let me get this priest up real quick. Um, let me go to the book of Obadiah. Let me get on Esau real quick. Because, you know, like I said, that's just even 
a shocker in itself right there, you know. <laughs> that shocked a lot of <laughs> nations, you know, that shocked a lot of people that Kim Jong-un is meeting with the president of China. So you already know something is already heating up on the surface. So yeah, so this is the book of Obadiah concerning Edom, which is Esau, the nation of Esau, which is Edom, you know, which are your so-called white people today. And um, this is the book of Obadiah, chapter 1, verse 1. The vision of Obadiah does save the Lord concerning Edom. We have heard a rumor from the Lord, an ambassador is sent among the heathen. Arise ye and let us rise up against her in battle. You know what I mean? So they're gonna rise up. These other nations are gonna rise up against against you, against you so-called white people in battle. And that was at that meeting that Kim Jong Un. You know, you know they're not discussing. <laughs> you know what I mean? On how to you know make this world a better place. They discussing on how to take you so-called white people out. You know what I mean? So. Just bring this scripture out right now. So, verse 2 Behold, I have made thee small among the heathen, thou art greatly despised. The pride of thy heart have deceived thee, thou dwellest in the clefts of the rock, whose habitation is high, that safe in his heart, who shall bring me down to the ground, you know. Thou ex. Though thou, though thou exalt thy, exalt thyself as the eagle, and thou hast, though thou set thy nest upon high, high among the stars, set thy nest among the stars, thence will I bring thee down, saith the Lord. If these come came to thee, if thieves came to thee, and if robbers by night, how art thou cut off? Would they have not? Not have stolen till they have, ha, till they had enough. If the group, grapers gathers, gatherers come to thee, would they have not leave some grapes? How are these things? How are the things of Esau searched out, and how are his hidden things sought up? All the men of thy confederacy. This is the point right here. All the men of thy confederacy. Have deceived thee, all thy men. I also like it. All thy men of thy confederacy have brought thee even to the border. The men that were at peace with with thee have deceived thee, and prevailed against thee, that they eat thy bread and have laid up wounds under thee. There is none understanding in him. Shall Shall I not in that day, say the Lord, even destroy the wise men out of Edom and the understanding of the Mount and of the Mount of Esau? You know, and the Mosai is doing exactly the, just that. You know what I mean? In these times, you see there's distinction, you know, among Esau and among, you know, even, you know, the so-called president, Donald Trump, you know. He has the sanction and he has, you know, the sanction among his own cabinets. You know, they can't even get along with her or agree on certain, you know, things concerning these other nations that are just teaming up and getting ready to come against this place and destroy this place. So, you know, this sign right here is just to make just it's just the, we're just one step closer, you know, to, of the deliverance of Israel, of the elect of Israel. You know, the brothers that are out there that's doing this work, that's in this truth sincerely, diligently and faithfully, that's doing this work. You know what I mean? That's making their bodies a living sacrifice. You know, so we're just one that we're just that one step closer for deliverance. You know what I mean? And Lord's will, you know, we, you know, even myself, I have the strength, you know, to prevail and to continue in this work. You know what I mean? And to do the, and to do the, and to endure this to the very end, you know, 
And yeah, so I'm gonna bring out another precept concerning. Bring out the book of Luke, chapter 21, verse 25. And there shall be a sign, and there shall be signs in the sun and in the moon and in the stars upon the earth. The stress of nations with perplexity, the seas and the waves roaring, men's hearts feeling them for fear and for looking uh, after these things which are coming upon, coming on the earth. For the powers of the heavens shall be shaken. You know what I mean? And it's talking about the so-called white man's kingdom. You know what I mean? This place is going to be shaken. With what? By those thermonuclear missiles. You know what I mean? And then shall thy see the Son of Man coming in the clouds, which are those chariots, you know what I mean, with power and great glory. And when these things begin to come to pass, then look up and lift up thy heads, for your redemption draweth nigh. You know what I mean? So this is the sign right here. Our redemption is drawing nigh. And we're just getting closer and closer. You know what I mean? So... We're gonna need, we're gonna see a lot of things start popping off this year. You know what I mean? There's gonna be a lot of prophecy that's gonna come to pass. You know, there's gonna be a lot of shit that's about to go down. You know what I mean? And this is, and this blue moon is just ushering those events that are about to take place. You know what I mean? This is just the ushering of a transition. You know what I mean? Of Jacob ruling the world. You know, uh, the kingdom of Israel, us coming into power. You know what I mean? But the scripture says in the book of um, Second Ezra, the sixth chapter, that Jacob is the end of the world. No, Esau is the end of the world, and Jacob is the beginning of it that followeth. You know what I mean? So, the kingdom is at hand, and um, brothers, just stay vigilant. You know what I mean? Because our redemption draweth nigh, and this is just the proof in the pudding right here with this blue moon. And with that, I want to give all praises to Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh Shai, Bashem, Rakra Kadash. Salutation, double honors to the apostles of Great Millstone. Salutation to your brothers out there on the highways and byways. That's noise in this world abroad. It's been another edition of GMS Tell It Like It Is. And I'll see you in the next segment. Shalom.